Hey there, my name is Ryan. And I'm Joel. And he has no clue what we're doing today. None at all. Not at all. I told him to start this video and I wasn't going to tell him. But we're going to be playing and reviewing <laughs> Dreambox. Okay. <laughs> Joel probably knows nothing about this game. Actually, I play it every day. Okay, he knows nothing about this it's game. A, it's a 3D plant strategy board game made for two. Yeah, he knows that. Yeah. Anyways, this is a brand new game we're going to be playing. And... I don't know much about it other than the rules, but it's... <laughs> and we're, and we're reviewing it. And we're reviewing it. But we're going to do a play and kind of give a first take thoughts on it. I've actually already played it once with someone and kind of got a take on it. So um, it's a pure strategy game. So basically what that means is some people call them abstract strategies. Those You're building plants. So, you know, that's kind of a theme. But basically we're going to have like... It's a rich a, theme. A rich theme. No one's ever used that before. You're, you're growing... But it is kind of cool. You are growing plants and you're going to grow these plants up here. You're going to grow leaves. We're going to have different colored cubes that we're playing. And our goal is to have the most light from the sun by the end of the game. We're trying to have the most top-down view cubes showing by the end. So, I don't know how to play. We're going to get set up here. We're going to jump right in. All right, so this is in the whole vein of pure strategy game. We're going to have a couple moves we can make, and it's all going to be about outsmarting our opponent. We've never really played against a real opponent before, so we'll just kind of learn the rules and see how it goes. So we have some basic components. Joel is called the dark tree, and I'm the light tree. So Joel has the black branches. These are branches, or like the tree trunk, if you think about. This is the green leaves. So he, these are his leaves. These are his branches. That'll be important later. These are my branches, or like my tree trunk, white tree trunks, and these are my leaves okay so on your turn you're going to start your first turn is just very specific you have to place a green leaf into one of the spaces you actually go first because you're black i'm letting you go first so dark goes first you place one to a space then i place one place that's how your wow. game has to start now the game is over if you ever don't have at least one active leaf an active leaf is a leaf that's showing from the top down so if you were ever somehow completely covered with some situation like this bah you lose. You can go in sideways. You can go in sideways. <laughs> so if this ever happens, this would be not happen. But if this ever happened, Joe would immediately lose the game. So one of the goals of this game is to completely we're trees that want to kill each other, completely suffocate the other tree, it's cut them off from existence. Of life. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much, yeah. So I can completely cut off Joel's light access. His trees die, and I win. Now, a couple placement rules from the top down. If you're looking at it and you have one or two. You have zero, you lose. But if you have one or two leaves, you can place one cube. You don't have to, but you can place a cube. If you have three or more leaves, again, not, not branches, but leaves, three or more, you can place two cubes on your turn. So you can place a tree. You can always place a branch or you can place a leaf on your turn. The only real restriction is a leaf can go in any open space on the board or a leaf can go into a branch. It can go on top, on the side. The rule is with the leaves that are already on the board, you cannot place a leaf in a leaf, you cannot place a branch in a leaf. One other kind of weird thing is you don't have to keep your tree in one straight shot. You can shoot your tree up in different spots as well. All right, so the game will be over a couple things. First of all, if you completely suffocate your opponent, um, the game will also end if one of us runs out of components. This is interesting, I have no clue how this will work, but if one of us runs out of pieces, the other person then places all their remaining pieces. So I, maybe it's a bad thing to get too far ahead, and that's why you can choose to place one or two. Um, the game will also end if I pass, so I choose not to place cubes, and then you pass after me consecutively, the game is over. So the danger of passing is you can never pass if you're behind, because the other person then passes, the game is over, you look from the top down, and you see whoever has the most leaves. So don't wow. pass if you're behind. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Joel's going to go first here, and I will tell you one strategy. In this book, the rule book, which is actually pretty well written, it just kind of goes through a page, very, very big font. <laughs> I've read the end of the game, then I flip the page of terminology, which is helpful, and then frequently asked questions, which is helpful, and then it has a strategy tip, and I was like, don't read it, don't read it, and then I read it. So, <laughs> so the, messed up. There's actually a lot of strategy tips. There's like, what to do on your fourth move, which I didn't read that one. I did read, though, that you want to try to get to three leaves quickly. Most people play the game and think you should do leaf, Tree, 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 and get taller, but the person with the higher output. That's the position win. of power. We're going! <laughs> I guess I can't You play. can't. I can't, can't play on top of you. Available holes are holes in your branches or in... The board. In On the board itself, which can be placed by either color here. Again, leaves can only... You can never place anything in a leaf, so... I'm gunning for you. 
Wow, you're just aggressive. I got nothing else to live for. <laughs> <laughs> so you said I can place two. Can I place two branches? Yeah. So I, you can place to... two cubes anywhere you want to. These are cubes. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't have to be a branch and a leaf. No. Nope. Two wherever you want to. <laughs> I can tell you've played a 3D plant strategy game for two players before. <laughs> you guess you could say, I wrote the strategy guide. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, I will simply copy you. Here. Hey! <laughs> Bro! Actually, I'll do this, and I will do... No, I'll... Ah! There's so much strategy! I will do this and that. <laughs> You've fallen into my trap. Neither of us know what we're doing right now, but this so is kind of branches our... can attach to branches. Branches can attach to branches. Yes, yeah, so you can do a double cover on me right now. You are you are permitted. Welcome to, do to that. darkness. It's true. I thought about this, and I chose to live with it. Um, you should pass. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be really disappointing. <laughs> There's our first play. <laughs> that was a guy. So that is tree blocks. You should definitely buy it. Maybe. That's incredible. Um, it's kind of like, kind of up our alley. I feel like we both are fine with games like, you know, pure strategy. Like, it's not our preferred type of game, but we both like this kind of game. So trying to outsmart the other person. I don't know why Dark goes first. We both have 16 of each piece, by the way. That was so predictable. You're gonna lose now. You made a mistake. <laughs> what? You you're like up. I read the. You're like I lied. I did read the fourth move. <laughs> Once you make <laughs> the Z, it's, it's over. It's game <laughs> over. You walked into the Z. <laughs> Only fools walk into the Z. <laughs> that would be, that would be Thank rough. Thank you, Philip. Philip, Alanik, Alanek. Hey, can I undo my last move to make a wiser play? No. Okay. No, you can. Okay. <laughs> Well, I think I'd rather have a leafy boy on the corner. I was thinking that you should probably get some leafy boys out there. Yeah. Um. I feel like I feel like you've shown your hand too soon. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, you know, your hand. I'm going to just casually go here. See, I think this is going to have a, a lot of depth of strategy to go along here. I, I think. Unless you just choke me out right away and it's over, which could totally be a thing that happens. Um, right now, you're just kind of being a bad person. Sorry. <laughs> it's what you get for letting the other person go first. Yeah, I think you've won, actually, right? Well, I was kind of getting that, that feeling, actually, while we were playing. Because I feel like if you can't get past the first level. Yeah. Then, And I think I because I went for the middle. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm, I'm not understanding the game right, but it does seem like I have this, right? I think I was trying to place all my cubes so close to you. Is you should go first. this way? Yeah. So I don't wound my own leafy boy? So I was thinking, we've never played this game before. Um, I was thinking I was going to, you can go too strong, I think. Because if I have more cubes left over, you can't get as tall as me and That's I cover you. So I was thinking end game, you can't. You went, oh, oh no. Oh no, I forgot a really important rule. But we're learning it because we're learning how to play this okay. game. Okay. Hang on, hang on. We're going to refer to the frequently asked questions. I'm going to. This is going to seem like I'm doing it just to take advantage of a bad situation, but yes. Um, sorry. They can extend beyond the board. They can extend beyond the board, which is really cool. What? Um, so I'm going to go for here. <laughs> Try to get away. I still don't think I can get away from you, but it does give me hope. I was thinking that was really easy. I was like, how's the second player avoid this happening? Because you can choose where to place, but this is probably how, because you can hang over the side of the board. I get you. Yeah. It's Try probably... to decide if I want to chase down your branch or just block you on the main. It probably needs to be there for game balance, right? By the way, this is not a dexterity game, so if something falls over, it's not like, ha ha ha, your tree fell. <laughs> I'm going to go here. And... That really does kind of... Put you in a bad spot, though, I know. It might be okay. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, that, that definitely changes things. <laughs> it definitely That's changes Because my thought was if I take the center, it's... It's over. Yeah. It's over! It's still maybe over? That would be the end of the game. Oh, no, it wouldn't. Just have to run you out of branches, which is maybe the fight for survival. I like how you don't... Once you get six shown, you don't start placing three. I'm a little... Hmm. 
A little bit how do you How do you choke someone out? If you can forever expand... I don't know. I guess... Don't let... I don't know. I don't know. I guess the only thing you have left to build on the board is this, this, is this though, right? Because you, yeah. you don't have a white thing over here, right? We can rotate the board. No. Well, they'd see better if we turn it that way. Yeah. Although I'm, I can't see, and I need to be able to play here. No, he doesn't! <laughs> I but it's interesting, guys. I can't put a white one there. Actually, I don't think I want to play a green. I just want to go. Mm, that's a good move. Now it's over. Go. Now you've won. I don't think you can do anything, right? I mean, can are you allowed to build under? Like, you can't, like, shove one in this gap, right? I'm surely not, right? If you could build under, that would break the game. I said you can't ever remove boards. Oh. Cubes from the board. Well, that so would make I would have There's, to there's no way because it's got this nothing. So now, now it's over. I think it's over, right? Because you have to... Well, you have to cover me. But you can cover me with your two moves. So I'll just end it. So I'll go here. I rotated the board. And then you win. No, that, wait, you don't me, win. It takes me one more turn. Wait, wait, you don't win. So if you don't win yet, I'm going to go... Wait, can you cover... If I don't build a leaf, though, you win this time, yeah. So this is why it's over, because you can cover me this time. You almost ran out of pieces, though, so it almost worked. I mean, I don't win this time. But you win next time, right? I guess I go here and here, right? Oh, I have a leaf over there? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a leaf over there. Wait, take it back, take it back. Ugh. Oh, no! No! Oh. I won! Oh. I won! I I guess this is why you're doing it for the camera. I can't quite see to the other so side. So you're not placing this one here? No, I don't have a leaf over there. So I, thought, I thought you covered me in one turn. So if you don't cover me this turn, I should run further away. That would be a much obvious move, but I didn't see I had a piece over there. Obvioso. Huh. So maybe the choke out strategy will not work. I'm a little confused, to be frank. Like, can I ever stop you? His name, is, can't you his run name this? is Joel. It's not Frank. Can't you run this forever? No, because I have to build leaves. We can't know with one play, like, if yeah. it's possible that way. So there's one. So that one's done for now. Well... Yeah, I'll keep you ahead on that, and then I'll. But you're almost it. out of branches, is my hope. So that that's a good move, though. Yeah, because now yeah, I, I, mean, I have to build a leaf, right? I don't build a leaf. You go boom, boom. It's over. So I have yeah. no more. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> now I don't know. So I have to build a leaf now. But if I build a leaf, you can go one, two, and cover. I build another leaf, you go one, two, and you win. I think you have just enough cubes, maybe. If I could, I don't I, know. If I could delay this one more turn, I could do it. But I don't know if I have enough cubes. I think, I think you have just enough cubes. Because I can't, I can't build a branch because I have to build a leaf. So I think if, if you had the extra, it comes with replacement cubes. Wow. I'm trying that. to decide if I want to like block you. I guess that's what I'm wondering. If I did this, like this, right? Mm-hmm. Then you could play on the leaf. Oh, like use your leaves and not run out of branches, yeah. But that wasn't attached. Man, we really manipulated this poor thing. Um, I'm gonna go. I don't know if this is wise. I feel like this is gonna lose me the game, but it's go. not not wise. I don't know. I don't because, know. How, I don't know. This wrap is it up. fine because if I had a branch here, that would be a bad move. But I don't. So I couldn't. I had to put a leaf. Yeah. And I can't put, this is the game over. Anywhere I go, the game's over now. I think, I think so. I think you won. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. It was over. Well. Right? Yeah. Am I missing something? My mental office. Oh, you're, you're right, right. You're right. So that's what I, I was thinking. Well, was over. I, I guess in my, I forgot. Okay, I was thinking there was no way to win for me, but what I was not realizing is you have to have a leaf. I have to have I a leaf. Because I was thinking well, you could just play a branch forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah. I was like, that's this doesn't make any sense. But that, that makes total First sense. First time impressions, people. Wow. <sighs> okay. Oh, man. You broke the game. You lose. We did not. I was expecting to be here. We did not go up like. We didn't go up at all. Oh, we're going to do this again and hopefully go up. We're running another round. Do you want to do another round? Yes. You can't beat me again. All right. So Joel won that one. We are going to swap here and let me be the dark pieces. And one thing I already like about this game is that it's like 15 minutes long with learning. We did play the one rule wrong. Yeah. But not a lot of games are 15 minutes. Um. Reminds me of Santorini, kind of. I thought you had to play a leaf I had to play a leaf. I would lose if I played that piece. <laughs> yes. Reminds me a little bit of, like, Santorini, which is, like, a better version of chess. Yeah. Me. Why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> I don't know. It just seemed right. 
I think that's a bad idea, right? I don't know. Who knows how to play the game? I'm supposed to. That's a bad idea. <laughs> that's what I did to you, and this is how you beat me. <laughs> I'm going up. I don't know if it's the right move. I'm going up. But I'm going I up. I would have to cover my own to cover yours. <laughs> I was really dumb. <laughs> I almost went there, too, and I thought, like, well, I had to cover my own to do it. So, yeah, I don't know if it's the better move, but I'm going up. I think I want to do this. Let's see, I have three showing now, so you can't totally block me. So see, I think it's a bad move, but I'm going up high. I want to get a high tree. Last time it was kind of weird. We went three high, I think, the whole game. I built this in the I'm so stupid. <laughs> no, wait, you're dark. You're dark. I'm dark. That was what I wanted. Oh, but I can't place oh, that. Oh, placement rules. What? I got no hope. I think it's game over, dude. Yeah. I don't know, but you get to do a total placement at the end, too, if I, like, place all my pieces first. Sure. So, don't give up so soon. I've given up. Now, again, it's not a, um, what's that called? Dexterity game, so if things start falling, that's okay. And it's okay as in, like, it'll be really upsetting, but it doesn't mean you lose if your pieces fall over. <laughs> this is going to get really a sketch tree. Yeah, you had to do that. I can't win this. <laughs> my tree cannot physically hold up under this pressure. I'm lined up with that liner, I think, right? Yeah. I'm almost out of branches, though. I don't think it's going to affect us. It's interesting, because you could grow up and place all your branches. I'm kind of curious what would happen if that happens. I'm going to kind of try to force that to happen. That one's not very tight. Are you over top me? I'm yeah. over top that one, so you have to place, yeah. Ooh, you can place two next time. They can. I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm going to go here. Let's see. What's, where off. is this? This one? Yeah. It's really hard to tell. I know if we were playing just, just two player, we actually have it between us. It'd be a little easier to see, but... I think it's going to be tough for you. I don't think I got I can win. Yeah. Well, you can't go there. Why can't I go here? Because I'll do this and you'll lose immediately because you have to have at least one leaf. I have right. to play a leaf this you time. You have to play a leaf, yeah. That's where I was at last uh, time where you wanted to get a branch to get out. Yeah. But. I don't think I got a chance. It's not looking good. But, you know, I don't know how, like, that last game, I'm pretty sure if I could have survived, I would have won the end of the game because I would have all these branches built up. So. That's it. You can't do anything right. There's, totally there's not a spot to build. That one? Yeah, but you could double whammy here. Wait, no, that's... Yeah, that's right there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, let me have the satisfaction yeah, yeah. of doing it. Yeah, yeah, I have the ugliest tree in existence. Oh, I win! Man, I played... My first two moves were, were just absolutely idiotic. I think you did a lot what I did, like, right beside me, which is maybe the second player's task to It's the boy. Santorini thing. You see someone place, you go, I'm right next to you, <laughs> loser. I got you. I got wow, you. that wasn't even close. All right, so that's the gameplay. We both won one, we both lost one. So I'm better than him. Tie break goes to younger. It always goes to younger, just like the player who goes first. Okay, I lost. Anyways, though, let's talk about some things we like about the production. Yeah, I think the quality is good. I like that the colors are pretty distinct. It's, not, it's nothing to be confused about. Uh, it's really intuitive. I feel like you could just give it to a five-year-old. They could pop it together. Um, the box is pretty. Yeah, it has a good rule book. I read through it and I was like, like a little question we had about moving blocks out of the way or, or how to mm -hmm. do that. But fairly clear, especially for like, you know, put together a rule book like this, you know, I pretty well. Um, and the basic strategy works well. Like, mm -hmm. it, it falls into that kind of game where you're like, that's all the rules. And then you play, you're like, oh, there's a like. And then you like, both of us went second. And I'm guessing it's more even than we played it, but we both Probably. made huge mistakes. And the person who went first just crushed the person who went second. And we really didn't stand a chance. Yeah, it definitely has that chess effect where it's like, there's no, there's no like sparkles. It's just like, here is the game. You place a cube, and it's like, oh, okay. I'm sorry, I meant checkers when I said chess, but like here it is, and it's like this is like a Same roll. Thing. You place pieces, and there's like no, no specialty. 
So I like that. It makes it really easy. Like going outside the box, even though it kind of took me by surprise in the first game, um, makes it really interesting. And because you can build up, but then you could also like if you could have run me off one more turn in that first game, then for the rest of the game you would have stayed ahead and I would have run out of pieces and you would have won. Yeah, I find that really interesting. Like we didn't get to end game, but I could visualize you had like two or three branches yeah. and I had like 10. So I'm like, well, I'll just go taller, grow back, grow the leaves and I win. So if he places all of his branches and leaves, I place everything at once and he can't respond to it. So yeah. All right. So on the things, just about the production maybe, or just overall that we think doesn't work as well. Um, <laughs> wow. Just ripped the bandaid off. I'm sorry. Why don't you? I'm sorry. We just have to go there. Um, the first time I got this out and messed around with it, the pieces held together really well. They actually didn't come up in our gameplay, so I guess the darker branches were fine. They seemed maybe a little more solid. Mm -hmm. But the second time through, I was like messing around with it, I noticed that sometimes the hole you're going over and you're putting weight on pieces, they just don't hold together. And I saw your tree was close to falling over, so I figured <laughs> I would make a point. So I worked a long time on that tree, too. I'm <laughs> sorry. It's good as new. I, I would have loved a different color tree. I know they're just two different greens, but like, why not make just one a pink tree? It's perhaps less realistic, oh. but I think it would just be a more exciting game to play. I realize I'm just picking on the, the colors for no reason, but I would have just had more <laughs> fun if someone was a pink tree. You woke up today like, I want to make fun of color schemes, but yeah. You get but... away with it in photosynthesis. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like different yeah. colors, and it's like, this isn't oh real, God. but it's it pops more. Um, yeah. Yeah, I would just worry long term. I just don't know. I mean, I we, I played it. This is my first two times I've really played it. I messed around a little bit, and you can already tell it's kind of like loose, and it kind of messes it up if you're in a situation where you have to place a block and it just doesn't hold. So, I don't know. Should have been Legos. Legos. You could just create this game with Legos, honestly. <laughs> Okay, so on the preference things that we like about the game, um, I'll go first. I like this style of game. It's not the first thing I take out. Like if I'm thinking, I'm gonna play a board game. I'm not necessarily thinking like pure strategy. And by pure strategy, we just mean like there's no hidden information and there's also no luck. It's not like, you know, even like a card flip, you're like, oh, I'm surprised. Like, you know what your opponent has. You know how many leaves they will have. You know everything. There's no hidden information. It's just out there. It's not the first game I think of when I think of a board game, but I really like them. We have a couple games like this. They're typically called abstract games, which is kind of an annoying term because you're growing trees, so it's not completely abstract, but they kind of come from the tradition of things like chess and checkers, which are just like, you know, move pieces around a board. But is this kind of your kind of game? For me, I think I don't gravitate towards this kind of game. I found that I really like Santorini when we play, but this isn't the kind of game I play with most people. We play them pretty well together. I think you're the only person in my life actually that I would play an abstract strategy game with currently. So <laughs> currently, <laughs> <laughs> don't ask questions. Don't ask it. <laughs> he did have a friend that used to play currently. with him, <laughs> but then they became a bad gamer and. You know, those people that just have to win. <laughs> you know, um, it is true. It is true. It, it's true. There's not a lot of people I play with. I think it's a fairly good one. I don't know if I'd pull it out for a long time, but it's different enough and, you know, Worth playing. Yeah, I think that's the thing about these type of games in general. If you are an angry gamer, these are not... You can control everything, that's kind of the problem. But if you are an angry gamer... <laughs> you want to sit in my that's recorder. That's satisfying. <laughs> but if you really do take things, like, really personally, you lose because you're worse at the game. Like, like maybe the second player mattered, but maybe it's a good thing to go second. I don't know, mm -hmm. but it's kind of that chess effect. Like, if you are not able just to have fun with this kind of thing, it might not be... Your cup of tea. But I like them if you like the kind of mm -hmm. pure strategy. Yeah, I think with any of these style games, it's one person, it's just beyond the other person. It's almost unplayable. It's just, you'll always win. But that's kind of with any abstract strategy game. Yeah, and you mentioned it a little bit earlier, but it's actually a good game with kids too. It is very simple. Mm -hmm. It's very clear what you're doing. This strategy is really complicated though. So it does kind of fall into that whole, we teach kids how to play checkers. But if you're really good at checkers, you could, you could beat down the children. Yeah. But you can also be nice with checkers, too. You can be nice with this and be like, oh, I'm going to place this tree here, even though you know you could win. So Yeah. Um, yeah, well, that kind of covers things that we like, things we don't like about it. I mean, overall, like, I'd probably recommend to people who are into pure strategy games. If you just want a game that you can control, you want to get really thinky, and you could really count out your moves if you like that kind of thing, it's great. It only plays two players. I think we made that clear, but it's a 3D plan strategy game for two players, so if you're buying this for a bigger group, 
don't. <laughs> I think the same. I think I'd recommend it if you're in that camp. Especially if you're just looking for a couple game. Um, mm-hmm. If you found that if you are into board games already and you've played games like Azul, Santorini, um, Hive, you'll probably like it, right? Yeah. It's it's simple. You can learn in a minute. and Yeah. It's cool. And like we said, it's just the hold up. I mean, it seems to be holding together pretty well, some of these pieces. It's just like long, long term. It's a game you're playing on playing like 20 times. Like... I don't know. It could be a little frustrating, but I don't really know the strategy. Maybe building a 20 high brick or a block tree is not the way to go. Maybe it was not meant to hold up that kind of condition, but to give more plays to kind of know how that works. Any other thoughts? I like it. I like it. I like it. I like winning it better. It's not the greatest, but it deserves to be here. Whoa. Think about that. See ya.